neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. UNLV will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Brought down at the 21. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. their own 45-yard line. First down. Brought down around the 41-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Shot at the pick. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Draw here. And they make the stop around the 39 yard line. That's a game of two on the play. Third down. at the 24. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That brings him and this is the eighth play of the drive. Pitches it, they'll bring him down right around the 18 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. They're about four yards away here on third down. Caught open field, and he's taken down around the eight yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. That makes it first and goal. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. Second down and goal. Ball on the 10-yard line. Run and he's brought down. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And down. 
down he goes at the two-yard line. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kansas could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. And he's tackled at the 47. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Makes his way out to about the 15. They've obviously found the formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Takes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 14-yard line. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. UNLV is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. He makes it to the 25-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Throws right, intercepted. To the 20. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First and 10, ball on the 14. Big hit there to stop him. And he hits him hard at the two.
Michael at the one. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Touchdown, Rebels! And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a six-play, 14-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Play. The score now, 10-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 19. The Rebels really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Drill at the 33-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Swings it to his tight end, but he drops it. That makes it second and 10. hit immediately. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 43. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. They're about four yards away here on second down. Slings it, and he's taken down around the 26-yard line. Six yard line. Second down. Flips it middle to the running back. He's taken down around the 24 yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. The screen pass gets it to the back. There he goes. Tackled inside the five yard line. That makes it first and goal.
First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Jayhawks. These blocking backs do a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward them. Let them barrel it in for a score once in a while. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 82-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. This one's all even at 10. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He makes his way to about the 38. A little toss across the middle. Good tackle there in space. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. He airs it out. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. He punt. No, he faked it. They'll bring him down at the 45. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. There's a strike complete. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's level at the 35. the outside from the 31 yard line first down and he tackles him hard at the 24 yard line that'll bring up second and three Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled right away. He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Dives forward. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Kansas! And 
and he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's going right. Leaps picked off. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball in their own 47. Kansas up seven points. Open field, he gets hit out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards in a first down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 39-yard line, second down. And he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. Second down. Tackle made at the four-yard line. Number 29 on the tackle at the four-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike 41. And the goal line defense digging in here. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kansas is up by a touchdown. He gets it up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down at the 34. And he carries the ball for a nice game. it into coverage and it's intercepted at the 30 for the 20 for the 10 and a huge touchdown play and he converts the extra point The 
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Here's the give. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. One's going to hit the ground incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 29. Caught and he's hit immediately. That brings us fourth and three. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. Jayhawks are parlaying some of those big plays into the lead here in the first. Well, it's nice to see explosion plays for this offense. They've done a really good job of executing, finding some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and taking advantage of them. So we're just about ready to return to action. And he hits him hard at the 43. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He might have a chance. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it close to the ten. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Complete. Brought down. Nothing to it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. That's a great tackle at the 49. That makes it fourth and long. So at the end of one quarter, the Jayhawks lead 27-10. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. <laughs> Tackle at the 23 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 48 yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Caught out of the open. Knocked out of bounds around the 35 yard line. They've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Steps out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle.
from the 25 yard line. First down. And he throws it away. The Rebels had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Tackle at about the 21. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. That'll make it fourth and six. Kicks away, and it is good. UNLV is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes the catch and look out, and he's taken down at the 29. That makes it second down and six. Ball in the 29. Steps out at the 31-yard line. Inside handoff. And they make the stop at the 31. come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it out quickly. And now he's got room to run. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Five wide. incomplete and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. From the 36 yard line. Second down. Quick toss. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Taken down around the four-yard line. And he is drilled at the two-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. From the four-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes at the six-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The 
delivers to the halfback on the screen. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. UNLV kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jayhawks came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong, but the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big play ability. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Fires that quickly incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. And he's going to come up with a sack. That'll make it second and long. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. Brought down at the 35. Number 29 on the tackle at the 35 yard. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Flips it middle to the running back. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Not much there on the screenplay. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. He's taken down at the 39. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he's stopped behind the line. Second down at 12. Ball on the 37. Zips it to the back. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 48. Makes it out to about the 33. to his receiver, first down. He's tackled at the 15. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line.
Inside give. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Here they come. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 61-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kansas holds a four-point lead. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes it out to about the 40. Caught over the middle. Tackle around the 43 yard line. Number 99 brings him down at the 43 yard line. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Got a man, they knocked it loose. Number 19 was the intended receiver on the way. Third down. Got a man, watch out here. He gets hit out of bounds around the 47 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. He makes his way to about the 38. That's a deep line on the ball. That'll make it second and inches. Handoff gains his way to the 20 yard line. That's good for the 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Kansas is up four. He's tackled in the open field. It's the ninth play of the drive. Takes the ball right. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Jayhawks. And he adds the extra point. A nice nine play, 76 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. 
They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Throws it in a hurry. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And they back up three yards on that play. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 23-yard line, third down. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 30. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 33. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 41. He's taken down at the 50. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 42. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's a deep problem. That'll bring up third and four. And he's hit immediately. The offense gets a first down here. you got to give him some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. So when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on the quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball in 34. Sets up a screen, incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Open receiver, no good. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. 
Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's tackled right around the 40. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Nice run there. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards as a player. That'll bring up third and eight. They'll line it up again on third down. Tackle made at the 26. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slant. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. From the 26-yard line, second down. down at about the 15-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Touchdown, Rebels! And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Well, this young man is having a great individual day. But some more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things have been really wild and woolly in this first half. Kirk, what do you think? I, I just hope they have enough oxygen down there for the skill players. I mean, I haven't seen this kind of offensive production by both teams in a first half in a long time. Kansas is up by four. He rifles it to the right. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From their own 40-yard line, 
First down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Looks middle, got his back. They'll get him for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's a short kick. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 40. Throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Quick strike to the back, no good. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He chucks it downfield. Can't connect. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and he hooked it left. Not a very good attempt there for the senior kicker. And our score, 34-30, Kansas. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Kansas holds a four-point lead. Under heavy pressure. Tackle at the 37-yard line. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Well, we've got a barn burner here. And at the end of the first half, our score, 34-30, Kansas. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being, and we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one.
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Run and he's brought down. That's a D. Third down. He's out of bounds right around the 34. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think this whole offense is really clicking, and it's allowing him as a quarterback just to settle in and find his rhythm. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Kansas is up four. Here we go. Red Red Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a game seven. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Check nine, check nine. Back 41. Black Looking for the corner. Makes it to the 44. That's a deep man. That makes two it first time, two times. Four down, four down. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Hit. Black five. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. That's good work. 82 yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 42 yard line. Throws complete and he's hit right away. They'll drop in for a loss. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. And here's the, wait a minute, the upbacks guy. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Huge play for the defense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Gives it to the back. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. And they make the stop at the 27. They give to the tailback. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. 
That brings us second to me. Makes a grab and steps out right away. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Defense. He's got 300 yards passing now. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Up the middle for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the nine. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Rebels' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 18. Black five, black five. Orange three, orange three. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Number four makes the set at the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. the catch and he's got nowhere to go they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down he's knocked out of bounds around the 44 yard line tries to buy some time slides down and he got about six on that little scramble they're about four yards away here on second down he heaves it deep even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers and this play is number eight on the drive. Boom around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line. It's first down. Oh, 
The 10. Touchdown, Kansas! And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. He's into the open field. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. And he is drilled at the 44. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. down at the 36. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. The Jayhawks saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Quick throw. That's incomplete. I think the quarterback that time just felt the pressure and just got rid of the football before he took the sack. And so it's another third down upcoming here. the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Kansas is up by four. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That brings up second.
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. He laterals the ball. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Now player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Gets out to around the 35. From the 35-yard line. First down. Here they come. They bring the quarterback down. Second and 15. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Kansas holds a four point lead. He's at the 30. Tackle at about the 23 yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23. Big play, and it's first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Pitch out, and he is hit immediately. Second down and goal. Ball on the 10-yard line. Jayhawks now with their quarterback down to an injury, and they've got to find a way to get back in this game and get their heads back in the game without their leader. He's got it with room to run, and he's taken down at the five-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. That makes his third and goal. And he's immediately tackled. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires it out. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. And they make the stop, the 47-yard line. Well, the man down and the trainers on their way out to have a look. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Get the call again. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. And off. 
off up the middle. He fights forward to about the 30. Looks middle, got his back. He's taken down at about the 25 yard line. Makes the first down catch. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's second and goal. Ball on the three. The Rebels, wide out, had to leave the field with that injury. We don't want to speculate on how bad it is, but the word we're getting from the locker room is no more football today. Touchdown, Rebels! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Boy, we sure have a great game on our hands here. We couldn't have asked for a more evenly matched game up until this point. He makes the PAT. UNLV to kick. Fielded at the nine. He makes it to the 25-yard line. You know who's been wreaking havoc again. Well, Brad, to me, it really just looks like it's just men against boys out there. This guy's been in on so many plays. It's like his own highlight film. Yeah, and with three sacks, you might want to start chipping this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight end, anything you can to solve that. In a game this tightly contested, it comes down to which defense is playing better. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Watch 14, watch 14. Mike 31. He fights forward to about the 39. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Number 29 makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. First, First and 10. Ball on their own 48. And he's level at the 37. The Jayhawks had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Here's a run. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it second and six. From the 33-yard line, second down. Flips it middle to the running back, and he's tackled at the 33. Number 33 on the tackle at the 33 yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kansas could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance. No good. He missed it to the left.
it's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Slings it. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. He steps out at the 48. rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. At the 46-yard That's the end of three. And ready for With this game all tied up. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. Grabs it and hammered right there. Second down and seven. Ball on the 23. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 31. He's in trouble. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds. The 37-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Two times, two times. He makes it to the 38-yard line. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's tackled at the 38. Not a bad return. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Catch 
catches it, and he's punished. That's a nice six-yard gain. You get six yards, and that makes picking up the first down very reasonable. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. From their own 43-yard line, third down. Punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Tackled after decent pickup. Try to change the field position with his kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 35. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle around the 37 yard line. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. So now it's an even tougher situation after the penalty. Third and 15. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. the sack certainly they don't have the return on here 
He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. He showed a good burst there. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Tailback brought down for a loss. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 38. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, huge drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. That makes it second and 10. Mike 41, Mike 41. First down grab by the receiver, and they make the stop around the 28 yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he throws it away. Taken down around the 18 yard line. Number 41 makes the set. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Now he tries to buy some time, and down he goes right around the 14 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. him hard at the five. Game in nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They line up in the jumbo set. Just throws this one away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. Caught at the eight. And down he goes at the 37. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he 
throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. There's a very impressive open. Second and 12. Ball on their own 49. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 29 yard line. He's into the open field. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. And he's leveled at the 13-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're at the two. Second down. Quickly, touchdown! They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. At the very least, they've got to get in the field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator. Fires out quick. It's picked off. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. the 28-yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. That makes it second and two. his way out to about the six. This offense can consider themselves very lucky to get this ball back. That's about as sloppy of an option play as you'll ever see. Timing and the focus are so important when trying to run this offense, and it looks to me like they just lost their focus there. Fires a laser touchdown. That's TD pass number three. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And 
he hits the PAT. A four play 28 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. UNLV is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Dangerous throw. And this one's picked off. To the 20. The 10. They can't bring him down, and he's in. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. The offense is in desperation mode, and the defense is thinking, guys, one more stop, and we can get out of here with a win. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Setting up the play action. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and ten. right running backs got it they'll bring him down around the 31 yard line any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this they need about three yards to get the first here on second down brought down at about the 31 Sets up a screen, incomplete. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Plenty of time in the pocket. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Nice run to the left there. On the ground, left side. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Makes it to the 44. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he is drilled at the 42. That's a game of two. Three, three, three. 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Call on the field goal unit. Kicks away. No good. He missed it to the left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Feeds it to the back. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. And the safety with the interception. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Makes it out to about the 46. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. You'll get it again. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. at the 41-yard line. Kansas just took their first time out. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. They'll get the ball with the change of possession on the punt, but time is starting to be a factor. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. Aaron and out long. Drops it. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the eight. Quickly, and that was almost picked. He's pushed out of bounds at the 13. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Really not much of a decision here for the coaching staff. Obviously, they're going to go for it and try to keep their slim chances alive. And he's taken down at the 20. Just over a minute left. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And a 
Quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 40. That's good for He's taken down around the 49 yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Jayhawks are going to call their second timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. Rose and it's knocked away. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Here comes the pressure. Once and all, going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Under a minute left. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. The Jayhawks using their third and final timeout. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Right here, right here. Play. Taken down in the backfield. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one: UNLV 65, Kansas 51. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.